Hello all, welcome back to the course Basic Signal Processing 21 EC33. Let us continue with the concept of uh, positive definite matrix. Uh, each one of the following tests is necessary and sufficient condition for the real symmetric matrix A to be positive definite. So what is a real symmetric matrix? Uh, so if I have to uh, explain that. Uh, a symmetric matrix is a matrix whose transpose is same as the original matrix. So that is a symmetric matrix. For example, A is equal to, so if I go row wise, 1, 2 and 2, 0. So if I have to go with A transpose, then it will again be 1, 2, that is column being converted to row and another column 2 0 being converted to row so that again results in the same matrix so a transpose and a when they are equal we call that to be a symmetric matrix and if all the entries in the matrix are real then we call that real symmetric matrix right if a real symmetric matrix a has to be positive definite then the following tests have to be conducted or it has to pass the following tests that is x transpose k x where k is our matrix a uh, should be greater than 0 for all non-zero real vectors x if we consider a non-zero real vector x which has a suitable dimension as a we when we do x transpose k into x it should result in a value greater than 0 that is positive value then that is the first condition which is to be met. Then the second condition is all eigenvalues of A should be positive, should be greater than 0. So I generally prefer we should start checking with this. So in case we get negative eigenvalues, then we can surely say that the matrix given matrix is not positive definite unless it explicitly asks to test all the conditions. So this can be a sort of uh, litmus test where if because that is the first step where we can easily go with it or even x transpose kx also uh, can quickly give a, a value which is uh, greater than 0 or not and that also can be an acid test. So these two generally are a quick test to check whether a given matrix A is real symmetric matrix A is positive definite or not. Next. All the upper left sub matrices AK that is this uh, should have positive determinant. So since it is only 2 cross 2 matrix the upper left sub matrix will be only one uh, value or one uh, element and if it is positive then the third condition is met. Then the fourth condition is all the pures without row exchanges satisfy dk greater than 0 in here is all four tests are to be met in order to identify if a given real symmetric matrix a is positive definite or not so let us take an example which has been solved here so that is to check for positive definite of definiteness of matrix 2 1 1 2 if you observe it is uh, symmetric here that is a transpose is if the column is converted to row that is the first column converting to row 2 1 and the second column is 1 2 convert when converted to row we find that it is same as the matrix A so it is real symmetric matrix using and it says using non-zero real vector 3 minus 4 so the non-zero real vector using which we need to check for definiteness of matrix A is 3 minus 4 column right so to check the first condition that is x transpose kx so we have x as 3 minus 4 column wise so we take x transpose as 3 minus 4 row and then multiply it with 2 1 1 2 the given matrix a that is our k here and into our x as it is 3 minus 4 if we observe it is 26 and is greater than 0 right and the second condition for eigenvalues which has been solved here that is determinant a minus lambda i is equal to 0 and that is that results in 2 minus lambda 1 and 1 2 minus lambda 
which is to be equated to 0. By solving this, I found out that lambda 1 is equal to 1 and lambda 2 is equal to 3, which gives the second condition satisfaction that is lambda i should be greater than 0, both the eigenvalues are greater than 0, positive, hence the uh, second condition is met. So the third condition is the uh, in uh, Eccleon form that is uh, non-zero, uh, sorry the, the, third, the third condition is uh, uppermost left sub matrix determinant should be greater than 0. So as said for a 2 cross 2 matrix uppermost left sub matrix element is only 1 and if it is positive we say that the uh, matrix uh, or the third condition to be met and in fourth condition uh, the pivot elements are to be found out that is the first non-zero entry in the row so for which we need to convert it into Eccleon form and to convert this matrix A to Eccleon form we need to do a row operation R1 minus 2R2 such that the first column has only first element as non-zero that is 2, 1, 0, minus 3 will be the Eccleon form of matrix A and in that we see that the elements, the pivot elements here, non-zero element of the row is non-zero that is greater than 0. Hence the matrix A is positive definite. Going further, if we consider another matrix 5, 6, 6, 7 which is a uh, positive re sorry real symmetric matrix so we see that the for to check the condition as said i prefer to go with the second condition first verify whether the eigenvalues are greater than zero because we do have uh, importance for eigenvalue so i suggest my learners to uh, or my viewers to go with uh, eigenvalue calculation so that you are uh, for other problems your eigenvalue calculation becomes much and much easier so 5 minus lambda 6 and 6 7 minus lambda is equal to 0 so that results in an equation characteristic equation lambda square minus 12 lambda minus 1 is equal to 0 uh, and with this if i solve i happen to get lambda 1 and lambda 2 as 12 and 0 or 12 and min point 1, uh, minus 0.1 minus one. so which is a negative value hence we can conclude at this stage that the matrix is uh, not positive definite okay so the next uh, matrix which is taken into consideration is 3 minus 1 1 minus 1 5 minus 1 1 minus 1 3 over using a real vector x so when we do that we see that the eigenvalues uh, with the characteristic equation lambda cube minus lambda square minus 11 lambda square plus 36 lambda minus 36 is equal to 0 we get lambda 1 is equal to 2 lambda 2 is equal to 3 lambda 3 is equal to 6 hence matrix a in this case can be a positive definite this matrix is already declared as not positive definite the, that is the previous matrix 5 6 6 7 is declared as not positive definite and the next matrix which, which we are discussing uh, that is our uh, a is equal to 3 minus 1 1 so we have all the eigenvalues as positive so there is all the chance that it may be positive definite right if we observe the other aspect let us go with xt kx so which is not done here so let us quickly uh, do it yeah for viewers benefit i have just moved it to the left hand side and if i have to consider xt kx so which is 1 1 1 and here it is 3 minus 1 1 minus 1 5 minus 1 
and 1 minus 1 3 and it is 1 1 1 considering a real vector 1 1 1 or uh, real vector x 1 1 1 so let me check what is uh, the dimension of this so this is uh, 3 cross sorry 1 cross 3 and this is 3 cross 3 so I should be getting 1 cross 3 so 3 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 5 minus 1 1 minus 1 3 and 1 1 1 right so uh, so it would be 3 3 and wonderful 3 so times 1 1 1 so <clears throat> 9 greater than 0 so the second condition is also met that the value xt kx is greater than 0. Hence, we say that uh, we can conclude that the given matrix is positive definite. I request uh, the viewers to check for the other two conditions by themselves and uh, follow the method. So, even if there is a bit of uh, doubt uh, you uh, better refer to the first four conditions which are to be met and solve for uh, ensuring these four conditions and when these four conditions are met uh, then we call that uh, matrix to be positive definite matrix so this generally comes for a four marks or six marks question so I suggest viewers to just go through these four there is a, these are four simple conditions hence in the first two modules though some topics in module 2 are left out I chose to complete this topic and move on to module 3 and it would be beneficial for the students to refer to important uh, steps and important concepts in a quick way uh, that's the intention of this uh, particular uh, video uh, have we discussed positive definiteness of a real symmetric matrix uh, this is another problem which I want to uh, you, uh, want the viewers to check this is what I got I got complex uh, uh, roads or complex eigenvalues so hence we can declare that matrix A is uh, not a positive definite matrix uh, that would make this uh, concept complete um, I request uh, viewers to go through all the topics wherever there is uh, doubt quickly you can revise using these videos and if there are any uh, comments feedback uh, kindly feel free to write in the comment box we will try to improve in the next video thank you